Mat Sports Science. We've gone to the mat and into the ring to test how fighters KO their opponents. But one facet of the fight game we haven't tested is the choke out. Now in nature, snakes like boas, anacondas, and pythons are expert chokers, squeezing their prey to death. And that got us thinking. When it comes to raw choking power, what squeezes harder, a mixed martial arts fighter or a snake? To find out, we enlisted the greatest champion in the history of mixed martial arts, Fedor, the last emperor, Emelianenko. He's a 230 pound heavyweight and he's won nearly half his fights by choking his opponents out. All people need to breathe. The trick is to intelligently cut the oxygen, to put them in a position where he can't do anything, and to wait until he literally goes to sleep. Fedor, you're known as the greatest chokeout master in MMA history. So what we want to do is to measure the amount of force that you could apply if you didn't have to worry about injuring an actual opponent. How do we have this dummy censored up? Well, basically, we have a force sensor inside the neck here so that we'll be able to tell exactly how you put your chokehold around your opponent, where you apply that force, and how much force you apply. To give us more insight about the chokeout, we brought in legendary MMA referee, Big John McCarthy. What the person is doing is they're actually taking their arm, bringing it all the way across. They're gonna be taking their hand, placing their hand to their bicep. The other hand is gonna come up behind the person's head, forcing that neck to move forward into the arm, which is gonna put pressure on the carotid arteries, which is gonna cause the person to pass out. But what chokes harder, a man or nature's most dangerously powerful snake? Fedor's ready to help us find out. Cindy, you ready? Ready. Fedor, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. After 10 seconds, the dead is in, and the results are staggering. Wow. So when we're looking at Fedor's results from the chokehold on the dummy, in all total, he was at about 500 pounds of force. He kind of ramped up to that, and then he held it steady for the whole 10 seconds, which was really pretty amazing. 500 pounds of force. That's like being squeezed by an Alaskan brown bear for 10 seconds. In an MMA match, the ref stops the bout the instant a fighter taps out or goes unconscious. But were Fedor to continue choking with that 500 pounds of force on a real person, it could be deadly. Here's an inside look at Fedor's ultimate chokeout. As the arms cinch up, the choke closes the carotid artery, blocking blood flow to the brain. It takes only 150 pounds of pressure to crush the trachea. So Fedor's 500 pounds would be more than enough to devastate the windpipe. And in the worst case scenario, if Fedor were to torque the rear of the neck, the strain could sever the spinal cord. So how does Fedor's choking power compare to a snake? To find out, we brought in one of the best choking snakes on the planet, the Burmese python. Pythons have been known to eat everything, from rodents and birds 
to livestock and even people. Once a constrictor actually gets a hold of you, whips a few coils around your windpipe and around your chest, every time you exhale, he'll tighten and hold it at that position. You will never take another breath as big as you just had. Five to 10 seconds, timber, boom, down you go. That's it. To get this python to attack, and since it was feeding time anyway, the snake wrangler has provided a dead rat. Yeah, yep, it's fine. Are you getting pressure? Yeah. Oh my oh, god, yeah. look at that. Okay. Wow. Look at how it's just tightening up. And you notice he's around both the throat and the carotid artery, so he's, he's gonna go out. Okay. It's done. It's, I, can't, I can't collect anymore anyway. Wow. That was it. The data from our sensors is in. Now, when we're starting to look at what the snake actually did, he was right at about 40 pounds of force. Only 40 pounds of force. That's 460 pounds less than Fedor generated. Believe it or not, Fedor chokes an incredible 12 times harder than the lethal reptile. So Fedor has a stranglehold on this competition. But here's something you should know about the python. This predator can maintain its maximum power for over three hours, or as long as it takes to kill its victim. We now know the damage caused by Fedor's maximum choking power. But there's still one piece of data missing. How little force does it take to choke a person out? To test that, we had to find a different kind of dummy altogether. The things I do for science. Oh, you got me. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. When we come back, our host gets his neck wrung by this Russian anaconda. Oh, my God. Three, two, one. 